Good morning. Uh, it's lovely to see a full house at quarter past 10 this morning. AIM is a result of over two decades of collaboration from within the magazine industry fraternity in India. With over 100 titles across 40 publishers in 10 languages, reaching over 150 million between us across print, digital, and social. AIM is certainly a force to reckon with. Today, I stand proudly before you, presenting the 12th edition of the Indian Magazine Congress. We have speakers from four continents. We have speakers from all over India, speaking on subjects as diverse as content, engagement, advertising efficacy, AI, subscription, and distribution, all reflective of the theme of this Congress, building engaged communities. This all-day jamboree in celebration of magazines would not have been possible but for the unstinted faith and support of my colleagues, Anant, Manoj, Dhawal, the fifth beetle in our organizing committee, Anurag, and our man Friday, Ramarao. A special shout out to James, James Hughes, the president of PIP, for relentlessly chasing me for days to block, to be here for this event to support us. <laughs> Our audience is made up of the publishing fraternity from all over India, vendors from across the globe, advertisers, marketing folk, and agencies, all for whom communities constitute daily bread. I'm excited to reconnect with old friends and to making new ones, to learning and sharing our journey with you. I sincerely believe that each and every one of you, a student of the magazine media ecosystem, will find value in the content presented in today's IMC, and sincerely hope that you will find that aha moment that you can implement in your own organization. I don't know how many of you remember, but it was exactly 36 months ago today when Prime Minister Modi announced the first of many lockdowns when pandemic struck, exactly three years ago today. Distribution was severely disrupted. Advertisers quickly pulled back campaigns, tacitly displaying loss of confidence in the medium of print. This is the backdrop in which this team at AIM assumed office. Our journey to repose Confidence in the magazine media business has been anything but straight and simple. We had to get our distribution strategy in place to repose faith in the minds of the advertiser. We had to get tech to work for us to make our efforts scalable and reliable. We had to do all this moonlighting while our own respective publishing houses were going through their worst patch. We realized that the weekly meetings that we started three years ago, to have, uh, which was ostensibly to have one another's back and to share challenges that we had faced and those that we had overcome had become the cornerstone of our learning. Together, we fought back. We multiplied our revenue streams. Many of you would understand when I tell you that we have stopped selling pages and we challenged ourselves to providing holistic solutions for our advertisers. We understood the significance of collaborative working. We realized that our magazine brands were resilient because they resonated the core values, utilitarian, engaging, experiential journalism, serving communities across platforms. We embraced tech. Today, you will learn about how magazines adapted to the new normal, how they continue to demand the attention of their communities, even in today's day of information overload and social cacophony. I request my dear friend Anant, Executive Director of Delhi Press and Vice President of AIM to showcase some of our initiatives that we have taken so far. Anant, over to you. 